one of the basic recipes you absolutely got to have to get to get to know to be a real good cook. That's the basic julienne soup. It can be a vegetarian soup or a, with all vegetables or it can be a, with a chicken broth or anything else. It tastes absolutely fantastic and it's easy to make. Now I have uh, convinced you that it's a really, really important recipe. I better show you how to make it. This leek is a, a big large, so I split it in two. I remove all the, the bad looking parts, and then I cut it into small slices, as thinly as I, it's at all possible. Leeks are very often filled with dirt and grit, so I, they have to be rinsed thoroughly. I pour away the water, but you could put it in a sieve too, but there you just risk the the grit stain back, so I just put, put it away. The tubers, I cut off the bad looking stuff from those two. The spots, the ends. I like to do the cutting first and then the peeling. Then I don't have to change my tool every, every time for every new vegetables. Potatoes I peel. The tubers, I peel those too. Yeah, and a carrot is a tuber too. And then I cut the onions. I do this the Asian style from the side. It gives a bit longer and more straight julienne strips. The potatoes or the, and the tubers, you can, uh, you can split them in half and then cut them into slices and cut those slices into strips. That's one way to do it. You can also just cut a small resting pad and then cut into slices and cut, cut those into strips or juliennes. This is why it's called a julienne soup. The herbs, fold them into a ball so it doesn't fly around on the cutting board while you cut them. Then you cut it into slices and naturally it won't end up as slices. And then you do a bit of chopping and you're good to go. It doesn't have to be too fine, but at least now it stays on the cutting board, so it's easier to manage. Put it aside. I really like some smoked bacon or a Schwarzwell ham. This is a German Schwarzwell ham. It's, it's smoked like bacon and dried. So it's sort of a high quality bacon. Melt and brown the butter. Add the vegetables. They have to be fried just a little bit. We don't want them to uh, get any real color, but we have to get them a bit of fragrance and soften them up a, a little bit. That gives for a bit more taste. When, it's, when they start to getting a little bit of color and they're soft, we add the stock. And this is some vegetable stocks, vegetable stock of my own recipe. The filling. This small amount of ham is actually enough. The herbs. Bring it to a boil. And as soon as it boils, turn down the temperature so it just simmers. And uh, 15 to 20 minutes later, the soup is done. So that's really easy. Uh, enjoy. And you can find the list of ingredients and the recipe on... Quelly Food.